This is Denise, uh, head of marketing from VRVR, the uh, global online content platform. VR and AR right now, I think, um, well, in back in 2014, 2015, everyone is like really crazy about this new technology. And then um, it cooled down a little bit. And then like this year, while there's new technology coming out and then provide a more easier and a more advanced um, a device for people to experience VR. So we just see there is uh, uh, like VR is actually catching up slowly. And then right now the players in the market are more dedic dedicated into this industry and then dedicated in pushing this forward. So we are really happy to see that. Um, and then so uh, moving forward, I think that um, VR and AR is definitely going to make a huge impact in this technology. But at this stage, I think that everyone in the industry just need to be uh, more dedicated, more uh, more uh, patient about the, the, the whole overall industry and then more focusing on the product. Um, itself developing a uh, no matter it's like for us developing a platform better platform or developing a, a better content or developing a better tech that fits into the needs of the uh, of the of the of the overall environment environment that can actually make a difference so I think the possibility for VR and AR is going to be is going to be unlimited and then it Possibly, this is not going to be the final format of what VR and AR is presenting in the market. Uh, it might change a lot in upcoming five to ten years, um, but we do see the 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 it going to be a really really popular um, and then going to be in everybody's uh, daily life. Yes. So VR is a, a VR content platform. So what we have been focusing on is that how we can actually uh, working together with the more content creators and then bring their contents to a wider audience. So um, that would be our focus um, upcoming. Um, so including that uh, expanding the uh, the reach of the audience online or uh, expanded the reach of the audience offline. So and then together we are hoping that we can actually work with more partners in this industry to um, to get more like uh, to break the circle of the current the, break the current VR bubble and then and uh, make this um, f new format of media like a. Um, approachable to a even wider audience and then grow the overall industry together. So that would be our uh, focus later on. Yes. I feel wild actually because um, especially the opportunity to get to talk to this many uh, con VR content creators and then leaders um, in 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 Paris, especially at one time, for example, like last yesterday, me and my colleague, each of us have fifteen <laughs> meetings in row, and then it was really really intense. But uh, we actually learned a lot from uh, from the content creators in the market, and then what kind of content they are creating, what they are expecting the industry is moving forward, and things like that. So it was really really insightful, and it was really um, it was really. Uh, um, we had a lot of in-depth in conversation then, yeah, so we learned a lot, yeah. <laughs>